Hey guys, welcome to Game Bad today, bringing our video for our Warzone weapon series. And today we're covering the fastest TTK weapon in Warzone, that being the AS Val, and a nice custom build here that I have for Warzone play. Now, at close range, the AS Val kills at a mere 407 milliseconds, making it the fastest TTK weapon in the game, even faster than the FFAR 1, which is TTK at 467 milliseconds. So, shout out to JGod for coming up with those numbers in the chart for us. Again, the AS Val, fastest TTK weapon in the game right now, and you'll see here in the game on the background, the AS Val fires a unique caliber, the 9x39 subsonic cartridge. And here with the base, you have the two ammo conversions, the SPP, and then the base ammo. Uh, the base ammo, when you inspect the weapon, it appears to be an SP6, which is a special armor piercing round here for this weapon. Again, it hits really, really hard. It was developed during the Soviet Union era and been in service since 1987. Uh, the barrel length of this weapon, it comes with an integral suppressor, is 200 millimeters, and we'll see that with the custom barrel we're going to be using here with the OSA barrel. Again, 9 by 39 cartridge, so it's a very heavy caliber weapon. Again, think of it as the 300 blackout round of the 7.62 by 39 millimeters. So the 300 blackout is, is a different variant of the 5 by 6 by 45 millimeter, and the 9 by 39 is basically the equivalent of that, but to the parent caliber the 762 by 39 millimeter so this big round it hits really hard here in game if we back out and take a look at the weapon here this is the final design we'll be using here in the gameplay this is my new go-to val build here and again this came out i always bring this out during the tough meta times of different seasons right now we have the aug and the ffar kind of dominating so i'm running this thing and it shreds at close range, obviously being a 407 millisecond TTK with this weapon. We'll go ahead and strip this thing down. I'm going to go ahead and we'll strip off the camouflage for this weapon, go with the base. So again, this was a Season 6 unlock here for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And still still the best weapon in the game as far as TTK goes. And very, very viable up close. The only downside is the magazine. But we'll go ahead the barrel here. I'm going to run the 30 or the 200 millimeter OSA barrel. So again, this is like I said, the AS Val in real life has a 200 millimeter barrel on it. However, this specific barrel, you can see the description says it's an aftermarket monolithic integrally suppressed barrel with aluminum honeycomb shroud significantly increasing muzzle velocity and range. So as far as I know, this type of barrel does not exist for this. So they went, they took some liberties with this. However, what this is going to do is give us the pros here of the damage range and the bullet velocity. And no matter what, any of these barrels are all suppressed, even the base barrel. So you're going to stay off the minimap with this weapon no matter what, which is awesome. The cons here are going to be the ADS speed with the OSA barrel. But again, we're going to make up for that and with the next attachment. So we'll go ahead and put this on. And I'm using this mainly just because if you're pairing it with a sniper rifle, you really want to get the best range out of this as possible. So we'll go ahead and put that on. Next attachment is going to be the laser. Now, a lot of people would like to run a 5 milliwatt with a Merc foregrip. However, with this one, I'm going to run a TAC, TAC laser. Um, and this is really what it's going to do is obviously increase our ADS speed. So we're going to we're going to compensate for the longer or the heavier barrel we have on this weapon. It's going to increase our aiming stability as well as our aim walking steadiness. The con is the laser will be visible, but only when we're ADSing. So as I always say, you just got to be careful where and when you're ADSing. Don't give away your position by pre-aiming through a, through a doorway where you know there's enemies because they're going to see that laser. So just be careful where you're aiming, but this is going to increase our ADS speed with this weapon and make it nice and snappy for up close. I'm not a big hip fire person, so I prefer a TAC laser over a 5 milliwatt. Go ahead and put that on. Now for the optic, usually what I've run in the past with this is going to be the holographic sight, because I like the clean optic on that. However, with this one, it is a Russian weapon, so I'm going to run the Viper or the Cobra optic here. And again, just a standard red dot. They're going to give us the same uh, zoom level magnification that we have with the, uh, the holographic sight or the EOTech. However, we're going to use a custom reticle that I think makes this optic way, way better. The base reticle on this I can't use. So we'll use a, a different reticle, which really, I think, complements this weapon very, very nicely. So we'll select that. We'll leave the base stock option here. However, you do have options. You go with the VSS stock. Uh, you can go with some different options here as well as the the ASM VAL or the, or the VSSM stock here as well. We'll leave the base stock. We don't really need that for the recoil control on this. We'll skip out on the perk as well as the rear grip. Ammunition, we're going to want to increase from the base 20 round 9x39 to the 30 round 9x39. So we'll increase our magazine capacity by 10. However, these are pretty big rounds, so it is going to impact our ADS speed and our movement speed with this weapon. However, the TAC laser should help compensate for the ADS speed uh, more than enough. And the movement speed with this is still very, very quick, the way we have this built. So we'll select that. Underbarrel attachment, we're going to want, typically, like I said, a lot of people run the Merc with the 5 milliwatt. 
If you want the best recoil control, in my opinion, it's still the operator foregrip. However, for this one, we're gonna run the Ranger foregrip. I just feel this one, it pairs very nicely. I think either the Ranger or the operator is gonna be a really, really nice uh, attachment for this specific build. You could really run either or. I've been running the Ranger foregrip mainly because I like the aesthetic look to it, trying to replicate something like a Zeneco RK, uh, RK1, I believe, or RK0 foregrip on this. However, it is a Magpul foregrip, but it still looks aesthetically very nice compared to the operator. But we'll go ahead and put that on. It's going to assist with our recoil control, mainly vertical, and our aiming stability, which will complement the tack laser very well. Cons are going to be the aim walking movement speed and the aim down sight speed. But again, don't need to worry about the ADS speed because we have the tack laser on there, which will more than make up for us. So this is our final design here with the attachments. So if we go into extra customization here, the reticle I'm talking about is, see the base reticle here is just actually... When you're in game, it's a red dot, which is nice, clean. A lot of people prefer that. However, for me to get shots on target, I'm not a big fan of these little dots. It's really hard for me to get shots on target where I need them to be. So I prefer something that lets me see my target and within a specific window. I've always liked these circle type reticles. So the sunspot reticle really, really works out well with this. It gives us honestly a cleaner sight picture than we would with any sort of holographic optic here. And, or even the APX-5 optic, I believe, which is an, another Russian optic. Uh, this is really, really nice. It's clean. It's, you don't have a lot of blur around it, and it's easy to get shots on target and really see where you're aiming with this reticle and get shots on target really nicely. So no matter what the range, with you, if you're inside the big circle, you're going to get hits no matter what. So I, I like that so I can have a bigger uh, bigger uh, target to, to aim my reticle on. So we'll go ahead and select that, and we'll back out. And the camouflage I'm going to run with this because I'm running Protector of Bale. I'm going to run the Woodland, and we'll go ahead over here to the Kill Brush. This is kind of my new favorite camo that I'm running right now. We'll go ahead and select that, and then you can see how nice this thing looks. Typically, I've always run the ASVL with the clean black look. However, this looks just very, very aesthetically pleasing, very nice, and it goes perfectly with our Protector at Bale. So really quick, we'll back out. We'll go over to our operators, and uh, we'll, take a look. we'll take a look at Bale here, if I can go ahead and get in here. We'll preview Bale. Again, the protectorate skin just goes perfectly with this kill brush type camouflage here. So you can see there, just looks really, really nice with that AS Val. And then I'm running the uh, the M82 with the same type of camo here on the back. So it looks really, really nice with that FSB skin there. We'll go ahead and back out. You can see, just appreciate how nice Bale looks walking here in this selection screen. Got the M82 on the back and that AS Val just looks extremely, extremely aesthetically pleasing there walking here with again the camouflage on the weapon complements the camouflage on bale's protector skin very very well so go ahead and the loadout i'm using here mainly in today's video you'll be seeing the bale running with the m82 so i have double time overkill and amped and uh, lethals are, are thermite however i swapped those out for the proxy mines with my ghost loadout as well as swapping out the tactical with the stuns so this is the loadout you'll see in today's video. However, lately, which we'll cover in another video coming up, is I've been running it with the same build with the AN94 Abacon uh, to, to kind of combat the the AUG FFAR meta. A lot of people are running AUGs and FFAR, so I figured let's run an AN94 and a VAL, and uh, it works very, very well. So today you'll see the, the VAL with the M82. Go ahead now, and we'll jump into the gameplay for this weapon. I'll walk you through this win, or, well... It might be a win. We'll have to wait and see. Really good high kill gameplay with the Val here. We had a lot of close quarter situations. Is it, it precisely where you want to use this weapon? So let's go ahead and we'll jump right into this gameplay and walk you through this. So jump into the gameplay here. Again, I'm playing here with Dill and a man named Nobody or Rylan from the channel. Um, so if you follow the channel, you obviously know who these guys are. What we did, we picked up a uh, scavenger and we're pushing up here to get the scav. And uh, all of a sudden, I think I think Dill got shot at here. So I, I, we know he's up here. I'm gonna climb this ladder. I can hear him firing. I know he's right. He's not right by the ladder. And again, I'm gonna surprise him. I missed a lot of shots there because he was high at first, and then he jumped down onto the helipad. He was initially on the railing, so I overshot a little bit. But you can just see the fast TTK, TTK there. And uh, I mentioned I mentioned them after I got that kill. It's, uh, I gave him some uh, some nice nine by thirty nine from Russia there. So. Fast forward now. This king came down the road. We had uh, we had mines on the road, but he had a trophy system. So the trophy system somehow blocks the proxy mines, which doesn't make sense because they would hit the truck underneath the truck when the truck runs over it or next to it. So it doesn't make sense that trophy would block that because it would have to be in line of sight. Which I I, I know Kaz and I have put down two or three mines, and cars with trophy systems still can tank it, which doesn't make any sense. But here you can see, we weren't going to let this guy get away. He thought he could get away here, and we disabled his his truck, 
And then, again, the M82, just, I'm the best, hands down, the best M82 user in Verdansk. Probably right, barely in front of Odin, who's also very, very good with it. But just a beautiful headshot there. Now, fast forward, we did a lot of recons. And again, there's a nice M82 shot. We did a lot of recons, so we knew we had to be down here and fire. And again, this team just pulled up in a truck. So I was in the tower while these two were low. So we had kind of kind of a different, a sporadic uh, spacing here in case they got in trouble or vice versa. Someone could, we could back each other up. So again, this Rose skin thought he was clever. Going to do what Rose skins do. And uh, you can see the Val. I, I'm very confident pushing with this Val because of the fast CDK. Push him. Able to get shots on him before. Easily break him. We killed two at this point. We know there's one more, and I heard him coming there as I was plating. So again, just the Val versus the FFAR there. No contest, just easily wipe him. So, fast forward again, Just bare, we just got out of this fight. We're coming inside, and we get the indication someone is dropping in. So I'm going to get to the roof, and you see here, he got in the truck, then he got out because we hit him with a Thermite. And again, just very, very quick TTK. Even though he just dropped in, he would have only had two yeah. plates, but still extremely fast. I think that's what happened. Now, again, we have people up this hill here at the top of those houses. So I'm up there trying to trying to take cover. And then this, we see this chopper coming. So this is a very interesting fight. The M82, I'm going to rip rip that thing all seven down shots. One. I'm able to down one with a Val. You see one parachute here, which I could have played this a little bit better. But again, I jumped down and I downed this dude. And then the one guy that parachuted... One more, one more out of the chopper, ended up downing me. The guy with the Marty McFly skin right here. So Dill's able to down him. I self res while he's self resing and able to get that clean up. Now, we thought there was we thought there was one more. However, we later found out that, that uh, I killed the one initially out of the chopper and killed that second row skin and then Dill got that Marty McFly skin. So again, I'm focusing on the team up the hill and we get engaged from the back. So this team's coming out of the hill easily. Uh, take that guy with the M82. And then I, I unfortunately dropped this airstrike, which as soon as I did it, I knew I shouldn't have. But right there, you can see the range of the Val. That was a that was a pretty long 60 meter plus kill there with the Val, where I just ripped that again. Keeping that sunspot reticle allows me to get shots on target um, very easily. So again, I'm going to push this guy. We have him pretty trapped no matter what. I didn't even hit him with those stuns, but I, I just went straight at him and got him. And then here a few seconds later, we know we have to move. We want to get over to the marks that we have on our map on green or orange behind the wall. And here I see a guy moving to our loadout. So I'm going to push up here, try and get eyes on him. And, and uh, I think Dill took a shot at him first. He's laying down behind there. So we're going to rotate. And this is where we make kind of a, a really unfortunate mistake. And it's really my fault here. Uh, I'm able to down this guy, no problem. We should have just cut and run right here, which I think we were about to. But it turns out there was another guy there that we didn't know about. And Dill gets downed. Um, and then I'm going to watch him. And then we get third party by another team up the hill with the AUG, unfortunately. So we just, we in retrospect, we were out in the open too long because I was calling out this guy trying to get us to focus on him when obviously we knew there was teams up top. So... So because of me, we didn't play that well because I was focused on this one dude when we needed to rotate to position. And you can see there, Rylan was able to kill a guy um, that killed me. And then it was 2v1 at that point, I think, or, or it was a different team there, a full team versus Rylan, who he was able to kill one guy, but uh, just got just got attacked there. No, nothing you can really do in that situation. If we had all rotated and I hadn't focused so much fire on those guys in the loadout, because they were out in the open, they would have had to move in no matter what. We would have had the advantage. So looking back on retrospect, we could have played that better. Um, I definitely cost us that game because I got greedy there against that team on the loadout. But solid 10 kill game there. Um, easily a game we could have won had we just played a little bit smarter. But again, you you learn lessons from that. You don't want to be caught out in the open, which we made the mistake of doing that instead of rotating. But again, let me know what you guys think of this. This is the the AS Val, the new AS Val. I've never used these attachments. And I think this is a really unique attachment setup that really no one in the game uses right now, utilizing the Ranger foregrip and the uh, the TAC laser with the Viper sight. I mean, nobody, I don't think anybody in the history of the game has used this yet. Um, that Sunspot reticle and these attachments combined just work out very, very well. I know Kaz uses a, a similar setup with the TAC laser. Um, and I think he, he uses a, a rubberized grip tape instead of an optic. However, I'm somebody that really needs a reticle. I'm horrible with the iron sights on this. So this specific combination works out really, really well for me. And again, you can see the gameplay. Just I'm very confident up close. You're going to take out anybody in a gunfight if you can get them one-on-one. -on -one. 
very, very fast TTK of 407 milliseconds. So let me know down below what you guys think of this. This is the AS Val in Warzone. Fastest TTK weapon. This is how you combat any meta in Warzone right now. Let me know what you guys think down below. What is your preferred Val build? What do you prefer for C CQC engagements? If it's not the Val, let me know down below. Till next time. Fucking Gaming. Out. One down, one.